Hello there. So I, like most of you, am an amateur artist. The fastest way to go from amateur to professional would be to paint every day. Now, I find it near impossible to do a full length watercolor on a daily basis. What I do find possible is to schedule 15 to 20 minutes of time daily to spend with my watercolors. Now, you might be questioning what is possible in such a short duration of time. Let me show you. Birds are my favorite subject to paint. Today, I am painting a Himalayan bulbul. To start off, I am using my 1.0 gel pen to mark out the proportions of this bulbul. After which, I will directly begin applying the watercolor. Most of this demonstration will be at 2x speed. However, this initial part with the color mixing, I have sped up a little bit more. This type of direct sketching is very intuitive. I don't have a very rigid plan as I begin. I just go with the flow of the watercolor. As I begin my process, the color on my palette is quite dilute. It is at something of a tea consistency and I will use it to simply block in the form of the bulbul. The brush I am using is a size 0 goat hair mop. It is a local make. It's very similar to a Chinese calligraphy brush. Goat hair brushes have very little control and uh, they don't come back to a very sharp tip. So what you compromise in control, you make up with in the playful nature of the strokes that you can create. This of course isn't the only way to paint birds. For those of you who want a slower, more calculated approach, I have a handful of classes on how to paint birds and other wildlife over on Skillshare. In the description below, you will find a link that will give you free access to one of these classes. I'm now putting in that branch as can be observed in the reference. At this stage, I am okay with it being connected to the bulbul. I will separate it a little bit later. So while the lighter paint is still wet, I will start putting in my darker values. One needs to be cautious about uh, the consistency of paint here. You can afford going to full fat milk consistency. Because since you are applying the paint into an already wet wash, it is going to dry a lot lighter than it appears now. Now that her head is well defined, I am going to turn my attention to her belly. I am going to put down a very light form shadow there. 
trying to give the belly its round form next i'm going to turn my attention to her wing hopefully the underlying paint is still a little damp notice that now i am using a number 8 round brush because i want a little more control next i'm going to put in that bright lemony yellow on her rum no mixing here the color is straight from the tube and since that's such a lovely bright yellow i am going to mirror it repeat it and uh, put in some form of background to better highlight my bulbul I'm going to add a few more background elements to further define where the bulbul is sitting. I'm putting in those nice purple berries. as i further define the tail the branch will automatically begin to stand out i have now moved back to my gel pen and i am going to use loose flowy lines adding definition and structure where i feel it is needed again this is a very intuitive process using my fingernail to create some marks on her tail we're now in the final stages of this particular painting i feel i can go a little bit darker in her face If you are enjoying this demonstration please do drop me a thumbs up If you enjoy my content and want to see more such demonstrations make sure to subscribe I have uh, about 20 videos on this channel so far and I'm planning to put out a few more actually quite a few more this month
इट वॉज अराउंड दिस टाइम वेर माई टाइमर वेंट ऑफ मीनिंग माई अलॉटेड ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वर आप सो आई वॉज नाउ इन टू ओवर टाइम नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ दिस स्केच इज डन ऑल दैट इज ट्रूली लेफ्ट इज द आई the only issue being that uh, i haven't taken much care with uh, preserving some of the highlights of the eye that's what happens when uh, you don't actually have much of a concrete plan to your sketch sometimes you make less than ideal choices but that is the nature of this process What I'm doing now is I'm lifting some color from her eye area. I'm lifting color from her pupil and a little beyond the circumference of her eye that I put down with the gel pen. Once I put back the darker part of her pupil, it will all make sense. I would have liked the circumference around her eye to be still lighter. Lifting isn't working all that well. After turning off the camera, I actually added a little bit of opaque white to give further definition to that circumference. Now having gone beyond my allotted 20 minutes I am going to call this painting complete. Thank you for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you in the next one as well.